Since the beginning of time, communication in all forms has been the one most universal solution to the world's most difficult problems. Over 5,000 years ago, the Egyptians started to write out their first messages to communicate with each other. By the 6th century, the Persian king Cyrus the Great officially started to use mail as a means of communicating long distance. Moving forward to 1837, we find the first electrical telegraph was created by Samuel Morse, which began a whole new era in communication with Morse code. 1876 brought us the first glimpse at a telephone with the help of inventors Antonio Meucci and Alexander Bell. They showed us that communication over a long distance was no longer a barrier. In 1927, Philo Farnsworth and his team expanded communication into a new age with his invention of the television, and with it, the ability to reach the masses worldwide. In 1973, Martin Cooper, an executive with Motorola, developed the first practical cell phone and opened up the mobile communication highway. This started the explosive age of mobile communication that is continuously expanding on a daily basis. By 1983, the start of the internet as we know it now was just beginning to take form through inventor Vinton Cerf's research and would soon become the most active means of communication to date. The internet now encompasses and affects every industry and mankind worldwide. We are surrounded by communication, we survive through communication, and we have expanded as a society as we have expanded our horizons through communication. From the oceanographers that are communicating to the deepest depths of our oceans, to NASA reaching galaxies far away, mankind has evolved, expanded, and survived in the direction of increasing its methods of communication. Now, in the year 2015, Fulvio Balmelli and his research team and Biomedic Center in Como, Italy, have achieved and perfected the next evolution in communication. They have discovered not only how to communicate with the plant world, but have found exactly what the plant world needs and wants to hear. Currently, our planet is suffering from the overuse of fertilizers, herbicides, soil conditioners, and pesticides that are damaging our plants, our ecosystems, our food supply, and our environment. Farmers have come to rely on these aggressive and costly methods to meet the demands of the public at large, while the repercussions are seen in the nutrient-deprived food we now consume. Hundreds of universities, organizations, and companies all over the world are working diligently to find better solutions for all these problems, and we are thankful for their hard work. However, the solutions discovered are not viable enough or have not provided any long-term benefits to the ever-growing problems of our farmers. Additionally, the problems of our continuously deteriorating environment and growing population of people to feed has not been solved, and mankind is suffering. So the question becomes, how do we increase the production of our farms, the quality of our food, and the safety of our planet, while still maintaining a pure, organic system for our consumption? The answer was a simple approach by Fulvio Balmelli to observe some very natural environments which verified that the plants, bugs, earth, and the environment together at one time were producing very well completely on their own, without human interference. He then continued to investigate the details of all the diverse communication signals of the plant's ecological system. After 10 years of intense research, he discovered not only their very specific communication patterns, but also exactly what they need and want to hear in order to maximize their own potential to produce, to increase their nutrient levels, and to extend their lifespan. At this moment in time, we have a device that contains whole programs of communication data to stimulate the metabolism and photosynthesis process of each plant, causing it to become a natural, self-regulating life form that perfects its own ecosystem. We have proven to ourselves through our commercial testing farms and gardens that we are growing plants with a greater presence of vitamins, minerals, and nutrients. We now know that we can grow plants of any type and size, stronger, faster, and healthier for all mankind. Our goal is to restore the plant world to its original ecological system and increase its efficiency of photosynthesis, which has been altered over time from factors such as pollution, acid rain, pesticides, herbicides, soil conditioners, and chemicals of all types. These restoring processes bring greater quality and healthier products for human and animal food consumption. While the advantages of this technology are endless in the world of farming, growing, and cultivation, 
Organic Earth has taken this monumental breakthrough one step further. It is our goal, and it is our duty as an organization to bring greater health to humans globally. We are the future of farming, and we have selected you to be a part of this incredible adventure. Come join us and experience for yourself just how big of an impact one simple decision to change your farm can make. We know and understand that seeing is believing, and it all starts here.